join me. Today, we're going to look at this meter. It works with 240 volt split phase and it in line to a DEMA 1450 plug should allow us to audit like a pro. Come on, let's get on with it. So one of the things I wanted to do is build a device that I could use to measure 50 amp plugs. Now, the purpose that I originally started to do this was because I had a coffee truck and I needed to balance the L1 and L2 and I needed to under uncover how much power was being used so that I could put a solar system in it and keep the freezers and refrigerators and stuff like that running overnight. Um, so as it turns out, it's also a great device for plugging in your RV and getting a energy audit done or anything else that uses a standard 50 amp four plug plug. Now, all this has is a four plug four plug four prong plug on this end and this end and in the middle is a simple little set of meters and some CT clamps. So, I'm going to take this device apart, show you how it works and how you can build one yourself. There's a parts list listed down below. Everything that you need is included to build everything in this. So let's get right to it. Let me crack this case open and show you what's inside it. So here we go. We're going to unscrew the top of this case. And this basically has four bolts or four little screws in it that run around a little rubber seam. Now this was originally an IP65 box. Now the seals that I made to connect all this stuff are not IP65 compliant. They do not hold water. If you've got a light sprinkle or rain outside and, and you place it under a trailer or something, you're fine. I haven't had any problems with that. But I wouldn't want to trust it to a flood or anything else that would be standard for that type of a uh, device. Now, let me see if I can get this open here. Got a little bit of a stuck wire down here. All right, so as you can see, inside this device is quite easy. You have the insulated wire, which I basically just cut the insulation off at about a six inch piece. And then you have four wires from each of these connectors. Two of these wires, these two here, the big ones, they run to the actual power within L1, L2, and neutral. Neutral being your white, L1 being your red, L2 being your black. Now, the smaller wires, they run to the CT clamp. As you can see, the CT clamps, one runs around L1 and one runs around L2. It's a very simple device. It measures it. Now, technically, you could take one of these CT clamps and wrap it around both the red and the black wire and have one CT clamp measure both sides and that would cut the cost of your meters in half because you would only need to buy one instead of the two pack that's included in the price list parts list below. I chose to do two because my original purpose for doing this box was to allow me to balance the L1, L2 and the food truck from the um, Predator 9500 generator running at 240 volts in the coffee trailer. So that's why I did it. And then I would, then, then eventually I used it also to measure all the power being pulled in the RV. And that would actually require that I have both 50 amps on L1 and L2 in order to get the, the correct measurements there. So it is very good for that. But this is a very simple wiring. I put a nice clamp on the ends of each of these to keep it from being pulled out. Um, I used a standard oven wall plug here. This is just a standard six foot plug right smack dab in the middle. You take six inches, you cut off the insulation very carefully, not to score the, the lines that run through here. And then on the very far end, as you can see up here, on the very far end, I cut this end off so that I could feed it through the box. And then on this end, after it's done, you connect this to a nice wall plug. And I would use an EV plug in order to make sure that you have a safe plug and that it's not dangerous and can't handle the appropriate type of uh, amperage that would be pulled through an RV or something of that nature. Uh, some of those cheap ones from um, Home Depot and stuff are very dangerous. They really can't handle 50 amps. They can spike up to 50 for very short periods of time, 
but anything over about 25 amps is quite dangerous for them. So please don't use those. Um, here we have the entire box. So once you are done with this and you have it all assembled, then it's just a matter of placing the lid back on the top and putting the screws back in. And you have a complete meter that allows you to perform any type of energy audit that you would like to do on a 50 amp breaker. This can work with 110, it can work with a 30 amp 120, it can work with practically any type of power you want as long as you put the right number of um, meters on there and you hook them to the right wires. Now, Greg said, there is another video that follows this one. It is a complete how to do an energy audit. It'll tell you how to take the readings off of this device, the readings off of your home meter, the readings off of a kilowatt uh, measuring tool for a 110 outlet, and how to convert that into what size battery you need. This is the type of energy audit that you hear about. It's a little bit more automated than the long form paper one that a lot of people ad advise you to do. I prefer this way because you're no longer guessing. That video is linked right now. Go ahead and click on it and watch it. Make sure you like and subscribe the channel so I can continue to make good quality products for you and continue to make good videos that you can use. Thank you.